Okay. Hmm. I don't know. I just imagine like Missy Elliott or like JLo in one of these outfits. Oh, wow. Look at the little sparkly baguettes down there. It's like stressed out baguettes. Like diamond baguettes. I don't care. But these bag charms are to die for. Like if you're into bag charms, this is the bag charm of the year. Like I'm just going to say it guys. Like this is the best bag charm. I love it. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jay. So today I'm going to be talking to you guys about uh, the Fendi Resort 2023 collection uh, which was celebrating the Fendi Baguette bag. Oh my gosh guys, I know this is definitely going to make any Fendi Baguette bag collector literally scream. Like there was so much bag eye candy on this runway. Like I'm not even that into Fendi but like my head was exploding from all like the cute little baguette variation so i'm going to show you guys uh, some of the images from the runway with you guys today and we can discuss them together now as i said guys i don't really have any fendi bags but i had the itch to buy a baguette for a while and well guys i think if you have had that itch this is definitely the time to buy a baguette there are uh, the hype for the baguette is like literally probably going to peak now that they've got this whole collection not only that but there's a tiffany and co collab which oh my gosh guys like it is so cute um i do have one uh fendi thing which are these vintage shoes they picked these up from a second hand store for like uh 50 bucks or so i'm yet to wear them but that's my only fendi thing um i'm not sure when they're from maybe the 90s this collection was super iconic because it was actually a collaboration with uh, well, Kim Jones, the creative director of Fendi, and uh, Mark Jacobs, and not only that, but uh, Linda Evangelista made her a runway uh, appearance uh, after many years. She's gone through a lot the last few years, and you know, I was expecting Linda to like walk the runway, but she only appeared uh, very seldomly at the end, but she was wearing this stunning uh, Tiffany blue it was kind of like a big, a big elaborate dress, like a puffy dress. The thing that I'm obsessed with with this collection, guys, like with most outfits, there's just so many baguette details. So on this first look, we've got not only like, look at this skirt, guys. You've got like a micro, micro baguette dangle charm. Yeah, like they've just like dangled micro baguettes to this whole skirt. And then the pockets are baguette, like clasps. Oh my gosh, guys, like, if if you're into bags, like, this is just, this is, like, too much. There's, like, five bags in one outfit. And then, not only that, guys, she has bags on her gloves, and she's carrying two sequin baguettes. Oh, I really love the combination of the dusty pink with the grey. And they're using a lot of layering. You can see she's wearing a little bustier underneath this sheer, like, very interesting, the combination of knitted gloves with a sheer top and like lingerie and then like a utilitarian style skirt it's very like it's like I don't know like early 2000s do you remember when like cargo pants were like really cool in the early 2000s I feel like it's a bit of that and the color palette with the sequins it is very early 2000s and I think it give, giving me like nostalgic feelings looking at this Okay, so here's a little close-up of the look. And oh, even on her socks, they've got baguettes, guys. Like, there's just baguettes left, right, and center. Oh, a clog. Okay. Well, that is also very um, 2000s aesthetic. Uh, clogs with socks. I know Chanel had the clog trend for a while as well. And there was a little bit of a revival of the clog trend I would say it kind of has trickled through the years uh, I remember the Dior clogs and the Chanel clogs were kind of coming back uh the past few years but here they are again on the Fendi runway and they have the little uh FF logo down the bottom okay look at let's look at this next look guys so as I said that uh Fendi are collaborating with Tiffany and co so there are actually a few really gorgeous Tiffany blue baguettes in this collection and this model has some gorgeous like blue shades so you know if you can't afford much for this collection maybe just go for the sunnies because that you know you're kind of capturing the whole look and this micro bag guys is going to fly off the shelf like look at it it's adorable and then she's got it with kind of more of a classic zuka uh, baguette which is in emblazoned with these crystals very glamorous and i guess you know I was kind of confused as to why there was crystals, but I think because it's a collab with Tiffany, they've got more like diamond embellishments on everything. And so you'll notice a lot of the costume jewelry is very like diamondy looking. And even I think the Tiffany and Co kind of goes with the sequins and 
that whole diamond effect. And it's kind of interesting that I've contrasted it with kind of a more military, not military, but like, uh, yeah, utilitarian style features. Like even on this jacket, it's a little bit more utilitarian style, contrasted with the sequin and the clogs. So yeah, it's quite a mishmash. This strong neon yellow color, or it's like having a snot green color. I absolutely am obsessed with it, guys. Like I love it. I don't know guys, I love the combination of the like purple with the greeny neon. I think it looks really amazing. I just think it's so cool. So anyway, I'm a fan, like it just, ugh, this, like the satin purple with like a baguette with all these like mini baguettes stuck to it. And then it's got like a satin, ugh, like this is just so good guys. Like you've got the sequin, like the, I just love this color palette together, like that purple with that, what is this color? C citrice? Citrine color, almost. It's like a citrine yellowy green. Yeah, I just love this satin baguette. It is just, like, visually, it's like eye candy. And then her tights are in this neon blue. And then she's got fur clogs. So you will see a lot of fur in this collection as well because it's Fendi. So that's very Fendi. A belt bag, a satin pink, ballerina pink. Oh, with the grey. And then that little micro Fendi in yellow on her wrist, you know, matched with the gloves. It's all about the multi-layers of baguettes with every outfit. She's even got a baguette on her bucket hat. Baguette on her leg warmers. Leg warmers, guys. Like, when are they coming back? Leg warmers? And then she's got some bright green clogs. Oh, guys, I died at this look. So you've got the satin baguette in this, like, khaki... What is this color? It's like etope. It's like a beige gray. And then she has these like little bag charms hanging off it. I like literally, guys, I feel like I really need these bag charms just to hang off like any bag. Like I'll hang it off a Hermes bag. Like I don't care. But these bag charms are to die for. Like if you're into bag charms, this is the bag charm of the year. Like I'm just going to say it, guys. Like this is the best bag charm. I love it. So yeah, you can, I think you need to get both colors as well. And then her wrists have little like scrunchy things which also feature baguettes and then her hat doesn't have a baguette on it but it's a Zuka print hat and then she has crystals on it with the little diamondy earrings and then she has like you know the little she's layered lots of layering in this collection actually guys like things that you wouldn't have really imagined together and they've just chucked it all together to make it more I guess street style I don't know what I don't know guys like I feel like a lot of people would diss this collection but for some reason, I'm just, like, living for it. Like, I really love it. And then you've got, like, I think because there's just so many bags. And then this look, there's, like, the classic Fendi mini baguette, I think. But then it looks like it has mixed hardware, so I'm confused. And then a fluffy, like, Shrek baguette, which I'm obsessed with. Love that Shrek baguette. And the leg warmers with the baguette stuck to it. Okay, next look. Oh, purple purple sequin baguette. I mean, this is probably the, one of the most popular ones. It's very Sex in the City. Um, and her little cap with... I'm obsessed with the satin, guys. Like, satin is uh, a nightmare to take care of, but it is just so, like, ballerina-esque. And, you know, the combination of, like, a very, like, sporty cap in satin with a bag stuck to it. Like, the style... Like, she's very ballerina-y. But then she's wearing, like, a utilitarian jacket. So it's cool. And then she has these socks with clogs. Like, I love it. Like, I love the the contrast. And then you have this uh, gorgeous lady in a really bright green uh, satin kind of uh, evening dress. And then, yeah, she's wearing the socks as well. So still that contrast. And then the, the backwards hat. So, yeah, it's like a glamorized gown with street style mixture and she has the double bags because you know it's all about the bags and she even has a bag on her sock you need to be wearing at least five bags per look i think for this runway got a man here with some cargo pants yep definitely it's definitely early 2000s guys and he has a little like zuka thing and oh that like fluorescent belt Remember when fluoro belts were cool? Or remember when fluoro was cool? It's very rave party, party-ish. I was really obsessed with this combination, the little red sequin, the blue cap, the little... Sh oh my god, guys. Like, just the combination of those, like, neon yellow shades on her bright blue hat. Like, the color palette is just... 
I don't know, guys. Like, it's just these little accents that are, I'm really drawn to, like a magpie. And just all the sequins. Okay, guys, and look at this. You've got the purple baguette with the bright green bag charm. And then she also has the micro sequin baguette. <sighs> like, guys, I feel sorry for you if you're a baguette collector because I don't know what you're going to do. Like, you just have to buy everything. And then you have a jumper with a baguette hand warmer in built into it this is such like a great instagram outfit honestly i can imagine like some rich lady with this baguette hoodie i mean this is such an iconic piece if i had the money guys i would just buy this whole baguette look like i would definitely get the baguette hat the gloves the socks and the like i would just get every baguette fashion item out of this whole thing Okay, and then you've got the little bag charms again attached to okay, you've got like three bag charms attached to a skirt plus the baguette Oh my gosh, I lost my page plus the baguette pockets Like I don't know guys I'm gonna have to go through these looks faster because there's just too much baguettes for me to like spot in every outfit what are you thinking, guys? Like, are you loving it? Are you thinking it's too much? The like I feel like they're definitely going to be easy to upsell at Fendi now because I think with every bag purchase, you have to buy the matching micro bag or matching bag charm to complete the look, which I think is the point palette. The little schoolgirl look with the ballerina uh, tights, uh, the satin backpack, the beanie hat with the... She, you can see actually right through the skirt, so it's a little bit risque, but it's like sc schoolgirl and the backpack. I actually really liked that look. Okay, you got a little men's belt bag as well in denim with the kind of more mohair texture. I love all these colors together. The, the dusty pink with the citrine uh, yellowy green and the mauve color. What is that color? It's like a brownie. Yeah. Okay, I wasn't that into this color palette. This is a bit giving me Pikachu. I'm not into the black and the yellow, but I know that's very Fendi. You often used to see that with the Fendi Monster range. Uh, this proportion of the fashion show I wasn't as into, but I do appreciate these, like, satin jumpsuits. I feel like it's very, like, Beyonce. I don't know, like, music video, like, Survivor music video. Yeah. Um, and, okay, Pikachu look number five. Another Pikachu look. Um, uh, I guess that's more like Eevee. Okay. Oh, blue. I do like this. So she's wearing a hat on top of another hat just to, you know, have the layering effect. It's all about the layers with this collection, guys. If you're not wearing multiple layers, then it's definitely not the vibe of this whole show. And gloves are key, which I love gloves. Interesting. So you've got the satin baguette with all the micro baguettes stuck to it in the navy blue, which is, I think, uh, would be much easier to uh, maintain than, like, the ballerina pink we saw and, like, the purple. But I'm going to tell you guys, this bag... I'm going to predict it's going to be a sellout. Like, this satin baguette is so, like, it is so cool. Like, with all the baguettes stuck to it. I'm curious to know how much it will be because there's just so many, like, buckles on this whole piece. Getting into the Tiffany blue section of this show. So, I thought it was interesting how this lady has, like, a like a square on her sweatshirt and then there's a like a rectangle bag which it almost looks like that's a pocket for the baguette i don't know if i'm the only one who's like imagining this but do you reckon this jumper is to like hold her bag inside not sure but okay you've got this guy with this tiffany blue uh jacket with all these baguettes stuck to it interesting this necklace guys ugh, to die for like Oh, there's just so many. How many is there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven micro baguettes. It's like a collect them all kind of uh, situation, but yeah, I mean, adorable. And they're actually bringing back the cow print. This was something that I've noticed in a vintage Fendi baguettes, the cow print one, and, and they brought it back. And I think it actually works with the Tiffany blue color. So they're bringing back the cow print. You can get it in uh, the baguette and the micro baguettes. If you want to get this like look for less, definitely check out the pre-love market because they've definitely done the cow print uh, before. They've done all this stuff before, but it's just kind of like revisiting it. 
Okay, we've got the Tiffany Blue Baguette, which, oh, low-key, guys, I really am tempted to buy it. But, you know, where am I going to wear it? To the gym? No. Oh, by the way, guys, I have been going to the gym. I went to Pilates last night, and this morning I went to Body Pump. It was really good, and my body is so sore. I'm going to try and go to Pilates again tomorrow. Um, I actually, we did have lockers, so I was able to put my uh, bag in the lock locked locked locker um i just bought like a two dollar coles bag and i just like put my stuff in there and then i kind of had my sac de jour as well um and i could lock it in my locker so i don't know if it was that safe i mean i did have like you couldn't get in unless you had the key but i definitely don't want to leave my designer bag like in my car or something i think that's a bit risky i don't know if i'm game enough to bring an hermes bag to the gym and put it in my locker but We'll see. I'll keep you updated, guys. I still want to use my designer bags, but lately I'm just a, I'm just like on the go, and I just need cheap and easy things to like carry around. Black sequin baguette with the little micro Tiffany blue a bag charm. Sorry, guys. Now I'm just like drawing. I'm not even talking about the outfits now. I'm just talking about the bags. A vest with a bag stuck on it with the the micro Tiffany baguette. Um, this is gonna sell out, guys. I'm just telling you that now. Um, okay, got the micro bag charm. I really need that bag charm, guys. Like, the Tiffany Blue bag charm. Oh. So, this is going to come out next year. So, if you are obsessed with it, save your money, guys. Because there's a lot. If if you're, if you're a fan of Fendi, I feel really bad for you. Because, like, as I said, I'm not that into Fendi. But even I, as someone who's not into Fendi, I don't know why I'm so excited by it, guys. You've got this full Tiffany look with uh, Bella Hadid in it. Um, and this, like, fluffy hat. Um, section. Oh, look at that strap. So many baguettes. This is like baguette city on this outfit. Uh, this like hat section, I, it definitely reminded me of uh, Chanel 1994, I think, fall, winter, when uh, they did those like big fluffy hats. But I know Fendi is very much known for fur, so it does work. It is, oh, guys, this is, this is very like Backstreet Boys, like just the full white looks. It's very 2000s, like boy band, like heaven. Yeah, and then the rips. Yeah, it is It is that. It is literally that. Oh, oh my god. Wow. Look at that PVC cape. It's kind of like a rave party look, right? Look how low slung that bum bag is. That diamond bum bag. Really sloppy, oversized kind of hip-hop vibe, I guess. R&B. Oh, whoa, neon yellow. Okay, this is very Instagram look. This whole, like poncho thing sweatshirt wow oh my look at that oversized fendi baguette guys a towel one. Oh. okay hmm i don't know i just imagine like missy elliott or like jlo in one of these outfits wow well, look at the little sparkly baguettes down there it's like stressed out baguettes like diamond baguettes Oh my gosh, I lost my page. Okay. This is a lot, guys. Like, this is a lot to take in. I don't know about you guys. Um. Okay, yeah, the white section was, like, really intense. Oh, okay, let's just talk about Linda Evangelista's outfit. So she was wearing this big cape, and then her baguette looks very special. Um, it's got, like, a silver details, and she had these elegant white gloves. And she's not wearing her little scarfy thing, so she has her face exposed. She looks beautiful. Oh, I was, for some reason, really hyped up by that collection. I don't know what it was. I think, for me, it seemed like the trends throughout it were very nostalgic to me. Um, like, when I started to get into fashion, that were the kind of things that I was looking at. And I was, I don't know, I think they're, like, outfits that I would see in, like, um, like almost, like, music videos like when i was growing up or something yeah so what do you guys think are you tempted by the fendi baguette collection are you gonna get anything oh there's one other bag that i remember seeing it was a fendi baguette in white and it said uh the baguette and it was kind of referencing the mark jacobs uh the tote bag i thought that was pretty cool as well and it's definitely like very recognizable as a collaboration so i think that one will be really popular as well Anyway, thanks for listening to me blab on today. I'm losing my voice and I'll talk to you on my next one. Bye!